In this lesson, I'll show you how to convert an equation of a conic section from polar form to rectangular form. The question reads, convert the equation r is equal to 6 over 2 minus 4 cosine theta into an equation written in rectangular form. What this means for us is that we want to make this equation in terms of x and y so that we can plot it on an xy plane. Right now it's in terms of r and theta. Before we do any of that, an interesting side note is that in our previous video we learned how to identify what type of conic this is. And specifically we're dealing with a hyperbola here because this number, this 4, when that number is greater than 1, it's a hyperbola. So this is a hyperbola technically. Okay, let's go ahead and start converting. The first thing that I want to do with this equation is multiply both sides by the denominator. That way we do not have an equation with a fraction. If I multiply the right side and the left side by 2 minus 4 cosine theta, I end up with r bracket 2 minus 4 cosine theta is equal to 6. Now using these equations, which allow us to go from polar form to rectangular form, I have to keep my eye out for these relationships. That way I can start to change any part of this equation so that it's replaced with x's and y's. I'll first start by multiplying this r into the parentheses where I get 2r minus 4r cosine theta is equal to 6. I'll replace this r with this relationship where 2 times the square root of x squared plus y squared replaces this r minus 4. And over here we have the radius times cosine theta, which can be replaced with x, is equal to 6. Next, I'll take this negative 4x over here, where I have 2 times the square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to 6 plus 4x. Factoring out a 2 from these two terms gives me 2 bracket 3 plus 2x. And this 2 and this 2, if we divide both sides by 2, let me just rewrite this part, they end up canceling out. So given the fact that we have a 2 here and a 2 here, they cancel out. And this leaves us with the square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to 3 plus 2x. I can take this a step further by squaring both sides. This will eliminate the square root on the left side. We get x squared plus y squared is equal to, and if we expand that, we get 3 times 3 is 9, plus 3 times 2x is 6x, plus another 6x, plus 4x squared. On the right side, we get 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And pretend that we brought that over, that x squared. So we have minus x squared, which we get 3x squared plus 12x plus 9, y squared on the left side. And at this point, we can even bring the y squared term over, where we get 3x squared minus y squared plus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. And we have learned techniques in the past that can convert this into a standard form equation for that of a hyperbola. Although we won't go into that because the question is not asking, but if you plot this, you will in fact get a hyperbola. And in case you're curious, if you were to complete the square, which is the technique that you use to make this into a standard form, you would end up with the following hyperbolic equation. And so there you have it. That is how to convert an equation of a conic section from polar form to rectangular form.